there are things that, you know, you would do differently, like you would maybe put a, you know, clearance in down here on the door, so that kind of thing. But conceptually and tool-wise, you, you know what it takes. So we take that a step further into the nesting. I want to make a door and get questions. I get a lot of questions. Get it? I get somebody that's kind of at this level of their design and say, well, how do I make a door? Well, it's the same thing. You, you add boards. So I do this, take that. The width it might be, I don't know. And then I'm just looking at that door and it is 24 inches tall, so I know that. And the depth of this is three quarters, like this. Grains running that way. There it is, clone and mirror. Put the rail on. Uh, same material, width, don't care, height, 1.5, depth, 7.5, and the left would be 1.5. Uh, how about that for guess? Uh, I'm going to clone that, take the bottom to the top, like that, and now I can go in and put the panel in. I'm going to take sheet goods, sort by thickness, take that. Width, height, depth will be the 0.5 thickness, grain, left 1.5, bottom 1.5, that. Line it up, hold the shift key. And what I'll do is move the front back uh, the quarter inch like that. Come back to the assembly, and there's there's our door. Okay. And the, the drawer is, is much the same, although it's the same process. You put a front on, you put two sides, back and bottom, like that. 